It's a Frank shaving brush. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch shavers everywhere. It's MarvinGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Great to see you again. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shaving brush in the shaving den, courtesy of viewer Alex Lopez. Alex, thank you very, very much. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home, check out all the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, Alex Lopez very, very kindly sent along a Frank shaving brush. We've talked about these in the past. They've had some clearance sales. You get some really, really nice brushes uh, at some really nice price points. This is a synthetic Brush, I believe it's a 24 millimeter knot. I'm going to check with Alex. I have an email into him, and whatever specs I discover from him, I will lay on the screen below or somewhere on the screen so you can see exactly what this is. But I think this is a 24 millimeter knot. It sure looks like it, it is a synthetic knot, and it is very, very soft. I like the size of the handle, a nice, compact, yet secure feel in the hand. Let me show you what it looks like. Uh, up against some other brushes I have. Here it is up against a Simpson T3 shaving brush right there with the ebony handle. Right there, you can kind of get an idea of that. Here's the other T3 that I have with the ivory handle. Same brush, just a different color handle. There it is right there. Here it is next to a Simpson T2. This is the T2. You can see now the handle is uh, along the same lines as the uh, Frank Shave. Handle. These handles are, seem to be comparable. Here it is next to the Solar Flare from Phoenix Shaving. This is also a 24 millimeter knot. As I say, I believe that this is a 24 millimeter knot here. I will confirm that on the screen. All right, but we just want to move the video along here. So we're going to use this to uh, whip up our lather and uh, get it ready, get our face ready for a shave. We're going to be kicking it off with the Cube 2.0 for my pre shave, my shave. My shave soap or my shave cream is going to be C.O. Bigelow. This is Parasso Green. Uh, Parasso makes this for C.O. Bigelow. So we're going to be using that. I'm also going to be using my Starry Night Lathering Bowl. i got some hot water sitting in it right now. I'm going to be using, uh, also from Alex Lopez, the Yaki uh, razor with the bolt handle and the tile razor head. Very much like a Henson razor. This is in stainless steel. Uh, what else are we going to use? Oh, yeah, we're going to use my album block for post shave. And also, uh, to wrap things up, Brute. Yeah, this will go nicely with the CO Bigelow or the Prosso Green. Right here, Brute. Looking forward to using that. And also for upstairs, a little bit of the Hawkins and Brimble aftershave bomb because it has a rather neutral scent. So we're going to use that. So that's what we got going on here. So you know what? Let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. The brush is soaking right now. All right, here we go. Let's do that. I have one day's worth of beard growth, so Let's see if we're going to do two passes. Maybe we'll do three passes. I don't know. We'll see. The uh, laser blade that I'm going to be using in the uh, Yaki razor is a Gillette Platinum second use. So that's already loaded up and ready to go. Let's rinse. All right. I'm going to go ahead before I... I get my um, uh, cube 2.0 back on my skin. I'm just going to let the water kind of just sit on there now that it's been cleaned. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe my hands off because I do not want to uh, 
let this bowl slip out of my hand. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous bowl. But we're going to go ahead and whip the lather up right now. So let's go ahead and get some of this. And we're going to take about that much right there. That'll be more than enough to whip up a nice, nice lather. And I'm just going to put it in. I'm just going to drop it in the bowl like that. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to get my brush right here. Okay. And we're just going to give it a nice ring. I got a few drops of water in the, uh, in the bowl there. I'm going to make sure my hand is dry here because I do not want this to slip out of my hand. And we're going to go ahead and whip this up. There it is right there. Okay. Give me a little water. As I say, it's about a 24 millimeter knot or so, somewhere in there. There we go. I have to really kind of look down on it here and uh, see what I'm doing here. Holding it up to the camera isn't always the best way. As you can see, it's starting to build there. All right. Ooh, yeah. I can, can you see that there? Starting to build? Huh? <laughs> yeah, boy, we're starting to get a nice, we're starting to already get a nice lather there. Like that. The brush is doing a nice job. It just had to kind of kick in a little bit, you know? Just a little bit. I guess the water to cream ratio just had to kind of balance out a little bit. I had, wow, look at that. Huh? Had to balance out a little bit, maybe a little too much water and just had to work it up to the cream. But it looks like, you know, just kind of work that water into it, so to speak, kind of get this lather going. And I'm not putting any more water in there. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I have a lot. I got a lot there. Look, 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 look. I mean, that's a lot there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... a Beautiful scent. Love that scent. What we're going to do is we're just going to... We're just going to leave that in there now. Here, you can see here. You can see. Look at that. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Boom! Lather! Yeah, right there! <laughs> that's marvelous! All right, we're just going to set that down there like that, put the brush in there. Now we're going to uh, use the Cube 2.0 as appreciated. Now that I have my lather built. All right, hang on a minute. Okay, just want to get a little water on there. And All right. Nice lather that... I'll be painting on, maybe do a, a little bit of face lathering technique also. We'll see. Oh, that's nice. That's nice right there. Good, good pre-shave. Yeah, it's got a nice menthol kick to it. And this Parasso Green or C.O. Bigelow has a lot of that also. Eucalyptus and menthol. Oh, boy, look at that. Look at that. We're just going to... Oh, <laughs> Oh man, it's just overflowing on the brush. Look at that. Well, this brush did a really nice job in building a wonderful lather. Look at that. And nice flow through. The brush seems to accommodate this lather very nicely. Next time around, I'm going to do a face lather with this brush. But this time around, I want to use the lathering bowl and show you how much it can generate from a brush this size. Look at that. Wow. Well, you know, I got heaps of lather here. Wow. I mean, I, you know what? <laughs> I can also say again, boom, lather, look at that. There is just, that's beautiful. Okay, and look how much I have there. And I'm going to carefully show you the bowl. Look how much I have in there. Look at that. This little guy did 
an awesome job in generating that lather. Of course, this lathering bowl is really, really outstanding. A fantastic lathering bowl, Starry Night Lathering Bowl. Thank you, Beth Jones. All right, let me recap this and just set it aside there. Let's set it over here out of the way. To be honest with you, we're not going to be needed again. Here is my razor. I'm going to heat this up over some hot, hot, hot water. We're all set to go. There we go. Yeah, nice hot, hot, hot water. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's nice. That's a nice... Nice lather, nice, really terrific, nice, great feel. The menthol from the cube, the menthol and eucalyptus from the C.O. Bigelow slash Parasso Green, marvelous, marvelous feel. Boy, that's terrific. One day's worth of beard growth, probably going to be two passes with this razor. Looks to be some nice protection, good glide, nice slickness, but the key was making this lather. I mean, look at that. It just, it's <laughs> whipped up a beautiful lather. Nice, thick, creamy, yogurty lather. Well, that's terrific. All right. This razor does a fine job of getting up underneath the nostrils and getting all those little bits. All right. First pass done. Let's rinse. All right, nice first pass. Not bad at all. Uh, probably on the cusp of being socially acceptable, really. Uh, or I would say right in that area. If I had to run out the door, I probably could. Not bad at all. Uh, one day's worth of beard growth. So, you know, I expect that from this razor. This razor actually is a little milder than what I think is, uh, than what I think I've heard online and read online. I, some say it's a five or a six out of ten. I'm saying it's more like a four. Uh, it's a nice, mild razor, and I like mild razors. So, uh, a nice first pass. And again, take your, you, you, when you do the traditional white shave, you take your beard down in stages, so don't expect to get everything on the first pass. But if you are, uh, if you are using it, and I say, like I say, the phone rings and you gotta get out the door, one pass, you'll look presentable. You really will. Now look at that. Look at now look at how much just that little bit of lather I had on the brush. Look how much is spreading around on the face here. And a, a nice flow through. I mean, a lot on the knot, and it's just flowing through rather nicely. I'm able to pick it up off of various parts of the knot and spread it around. Yeah, towards the base, towards the side, towards the top, that kind of thing. That's what I'm. That's where I'm getting it from. And look, I mean, it's beautiful. And I, again, I have more than enough. Got to be careful. More than enough here. Hand it. My hands are slick. <laughs> more than enough here for a third, maybe even a fourth pass. Now, yeah, I did start off with a good squirt of cream there, but I tend to do that with. Creams that come out of a tube, I tend to approximate what it would be uh, equivalent to taking a dollop out of a jar of shave cream. And that's probably equivalent. What I squeeze out of the tube is probably equivalent to a dollop out of a 
shave cream jar. At least that's how I gauge it. Uh, all right, here we go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. This is very, this razor, by the way, very, very similar to a Henson. Very easy to find the shave angle. Very easy. All right. And again, uh, the first pass with the grain, north to south, really got a lot, a majority of the whisker on the upper lip. So I'm just doing a little bit, kind of a little cleanup here, really. It just, just feels like I got everything already. All right, pass number two done. Let's rinse, let's see where we're at. The shave is done. I do not need to do a third pass. I'll show you how much lather I have left over, and I have more than enough for a third pass, maybe even a third pass and a fourth pass. But if I had, say, two to three days worth of beard growth, what I have in here would be more than enough to take care of uh, additional pass, additional pass or a touch-up, something like that. Here's my warm water rinse. Okay, going to flip it to the cold water side. I'm expecting a really nice kick from the menthol and eucalyptus from both the Cube 2.0 and the CO Bigelow slash Parasso Green. It's going to be a real kick. Hang on. I mean, <laughs> hold on to your potatoes, right? <laughs> All right, cold water rinse. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, wow, that was something, that'll wake you up. All right, clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. My gosh, was that good. Wow. Boy, that was terrific. That's, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. That's, that was, wow, that, boy, that, I think, I think I'm on my way to BBS. What a wonderful lather this shaving brush whipped up, and it did a great job. Really looking forward to doing a face lather with this uh, brush. All right, uh, let me get my Allen block here, and let's run this under some cold water and see how much feedback we get. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's smooth as ice. There's no, definitely no stinging. And I would say no zinging. Nice little bit of brace from the Allen block. But 
That's fine. There's the album as the dry dock. There's the album block. It goes in there like that. That's fantastic. All right. Now, let me wipe my hands off here. Make sure they're nice and dry because this bowl is a favorite. And I do not want it to slip out of my hands. Okay, good. I got a nice gra grasp of it. Okay, check that out. Look at all this lather in the bowl. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Huh? Isn't that fantastic? Boy, look at that. I mean, you could just absolutely fantastic, fantastic lather from this brush. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put that back in the bowl. Just scrape that back in the bowl. We're going to go ahead and rinse this brush out here and give it a quick cleaning to show you how quickly these synthetic brushes clean. And uh, we're going to go ahead. There it is there. The lather's out of there. And what I'm doing is I'm giving it a nice massage with my fingers like this just to kind of run that lather out of the knot. And it's coming out. And uh, that's it. I got most of the, I got the lather out of there. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take a... Um, we're going to give it some, uh, just some really vigorous shakes here, okay? Just hang on to it and just go like that and just throw that excess water off like that, okay? And then we're going to blot that and then buff it a little bit here like this to get that excess out and blot a little more, okay? And then maybe give it another couple of vigorous shakes, okay? All right, there we go. Now look, now look. Look at that, huh? Maybe a little bit right there, okay? Okay, no, that's it. That's, that's got it, it's like 95% dry. I love these synthetic brushes, the way they just throw that water off and they just dry so nicely. All I gotta do is hang this up and let it dry the rest of the way. But you know what? It's like the majority of it's dry already. Boy, that's look at that. That's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. All right, so let's uh top it all off with a little bit of brute. Now that my brush is clean, right? You know, the alum sets up. We can go ahead and use this. Oh yeah, oh look out. This is European Brute from viewer Mark Bagwell, and it's awesome. <laughs> and it's a great, great aftershave to follow up. Uh, Parasso Green, CO Bigelow. If you don't have Parasso aftershave, this is great. This will this will follow up really, really well. It is this is definitely head and shoulders, in my opinion, above the American version. The European version, first of all, comes in a glass bottle, which is great. A little more elegant, uh, especially on the counter. And uh, the scent is more layered. It's just fantastic scent. Little, definitely uh, more refined, more elegant scent. And it has several layers there also. Really very, very nice. Okay, a little bit of Hawkins and Brimmel for upstairs only because it doesn't have much scent at all it won't get in the way of the brute we're just going to go a little bit here because i'm going to need a head shave and okay gonna need a head shave and i'll just if i do a head shave later this way i'm not putting a lot up there and wasting it all right great shave what a wonderful shaving brush frank shaving brush thank you alex lopez for this folks this is wonderful Boy, they have some great, great brushes up there. Based on this one, the synthetic brushes are marvelous. Really enjoyed building a lather with it and doing, uh, you know, just painting it on. This performed really, really well. Boy, the size of this brush packs a really, really big punch. Absolutely wonderful. Now, obviously, I have a little bit of an advantage in that I was using the Starry Night Lathering Bowl, okay? But... You know what? I'm going to do a face lather with this. I think it's going to perform just as well. Synthetic Knot is uh, very, very soft. It has some nice backbone. I'm sure it's going to be great for a face lather. It absolutely was wonderful for a bowl lather. 
And uh, really, it just did a great job. And look, right here, I'm just talking to you right now. That's like 95, 98% dry already. Love these synthetic brushes. And this is another great one from Frank Shading. Thank you very much, Alex Lopez. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we'll give you all the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the great artisan soap makers you see displayed on the bottom of the screen. They create, make, and offer some wonderful artisan shave soaps, and they also offer some outstanding wet shaving gear. Please give them a look when you get a chance. I sure would appreciate it. Check out my Amazon product page, amazon.com slash shop slash marks ready where you'll find all the products i review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily thanks very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate it i'll see you again real soon